Well, Ricky Evans here has a mountain to climb against Gerwin Price, who is a man at the peak of his powers once again, averaging around 100. Has a six-leg lead after 10, Paul Nicholson. Would you 8-2 be Ricky Evans right now? I wouldn't want to be. Six legs behind Gezi Price. And you're talking to the wrong person because my record against Gezi is 55. awful. How do you attempt to manage playing either of these players with the different challenges that they bring? 59. I think you've got to understand how they feel when they're playing their best stuff. And, and Gezi Price may not be playing his A-plus game today, but he's brought the typical aggression. If you think that he's not going to be aggressive against you and, and feel pity, then I'm afraid you've got the wrong attitude. You've got to soak up what he does and just take it on the chin and play your own game and adapt. Talking of players, sorry, Paul, at the peak of their powers. Michael Van Gerwen has won all five legs in the first mini session over on the main stage and taken out 170 in the process. He likes a 170 on that stage, doesn't he? He certainly does. This is kind of par for the course for Gerwin Price, and he's a man that has been strutting his stuff all season. But just in terms of results, the, the one for MVG against Ethan Aspinall yesterday and the one that we've just seen for Daryl Gurney, who by their own standards are two players that have struggled in 2020, could really be season-changing wins, couldn't they? Yeah, could be. I think it's a bit of a cop-out to say that Michael Van Gerwen's going to win this tournament. I think the plot is a lot more thicker than that. Yeah, the draw will certainly be exciting, particularly if the likes of Price, Wright, Gary Anderson, who we're going to see later on here, are still in it. As Price looks for a couple of doubles, he's landed one. But once again, he can't land his favourite double top. Yeah, the, he hasn't been plucking tops out, that's for sure. But Ricky has. Got his first leg in a while. One down, seven to go. That's what I'd be saying to myself in this spot. I think if you're Ricky, you just want to stay in a good rhythm because sometimes you can't play too fast. Just to add a little bit more colour to that match featuring MVG and J-Lo, Jason Lowe has actually had more darts at double than Michael Van Gogh, and he's had 11 to the world number one seven, but trails 5-0. Silly game sometimes, isn't it? But it's all about getting to a finish and taking it out. 55. Two different components. Yellow Clarkson finished the job pretty quickly against Steve West, 59. winning that match 10-1. That could be one of the best performances Clarkson's put in in a few seasons, averaging 97. 25. Enter Sulevic 8 5 up on Dirk van Dijvenboer. Martin Schindler meeting Kyle McKinstry now. A chance for one of those two to progress to the last 16. Yeah, big chance. Kyle McKinstry has gone under the radar a little bit, even though he's beaten Fallon Sherrick here and, and, and done a very, very good job so far. I'd love to see him win that match, maybe have a Northern Ireland derby against Gurney. The price has taken his foot off the gas a little bit after the break, but he will get a chance here to. Go when you require 96 restore that six leg lead that he had before it take two on 96 and he's finally found tops and you can see what he thinks about that plenty of opportunities but finally tops has had its eye poked out it is a price procession so far here Looking good, looking every inch, one of the contenders to take the top prize. Well, on Thursday night, when he was playing against Glenn Durant, Gezi Price used two different sets of darts on stage. He's got uh, a coated set, which are black. He's taken some of the coating off different sections of the dart. He started with that set in Exeter, and after a few legs, he decided to go back to his old blue faithfuls with the, the natural uh, shiny tungsten on them. And that's what he's using here today. He's playing this way, I wouldn't be changing anything. 144 weight from his name being in the hat later on this afternoon. 
It has been a, a really solid display. Very, very comfortable. Ricky Evans will be slightly disappointed. He hasn't offered a little bit more to go in price. The majority of legs have seen price just really dominate. And that's why he finds himself in the position he is, needing his favourite double to seal the deal and book his place in the last 16. And it is ice on fire at the UK Open as Gerwin Price eliminates Evans with a resounding 10-3 victory to move into the draw for the last 16. We'll be back with James Wade against Kim Hybrex in around five minutes' time. I know some of you have been watching us on Facebook. If you have been and you want to watch the rest of the action, all you need to do is head to the P pdc.tv website and subscribe you can bag a weekend pass for less than three pounds 